from Disneyland. Welcome to a brand new vlog. I've never been to Disneyland during the holidays. This is the most enchanting thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. We've got our little holiday coffee on Main Street. I'm zipping on a chestnut friendly latte. I have decided this is just like my drink of the season. I cannot get enough of it. I think in almost every single vlog I've made since the holiday taste test vlog, I've gotten this. We are going, I think, to ride Pirates first. I'm just so happy to be here. check before we left the room today. So I'm here with my little sister Emily and some of her friends from Point Loma, Lulu and Elena. So my dress is from Free People. My cardigan is from Target two years ago. These ears are Shop Disney Holiday last year. They're some of my favorites and I haven't worn them yet, but I'm so happy I'm finally wearing them. And also my nails kind of coordinate with my ears, which I definitely realized after the fact, but it's super cute. My necklaces are Disney Parks and this one is from my friends Josie and Kate's shop, Spinning Carousel Co. It's the Disneyland opening date in the original Disneyland font, which is so cool and special. My shoes are Sam Edelman, Socks Amazon, bag Stony Clover, little bag charm is Bobble Bar. <laughs> Haunted Mansion Holiday, and this was closed when we were here last time. I'm absolutely dying to. This is an icon of Disneyland Park during the holidays. It starts in the Halloween season and carries over into Christmas. And it's all themed after Nightmare Before Christmas, so it's gonna be so good. Eggnog flavored, and it's honestly so so yummy. What's your rating? I give it. 
It's not as sweet as I typically drink yeah. it, but right now I don't want something sweet. So I would give it like a eight out of 10. Me too, right around there. It's pretty That's good. Around. We watched the Christmas fantasy parade and it was adorable, as cute as it could be. I changed in my second fit. Because honestly, the dress, I was done with it and those shoes were hurting me. We got walk-up reservations for New Orleans Cafe. I'm so excited to eat there. All right, we are at the famous Orleans Cafe. Is New Orleans Cafe or just Orleans Cafe? Orleans. Orleans. Orleans Cafe. And we got the three cheese Monte Cristo. It has brie in it. Oh my goodness. Elaine and I are splitting again. It looks so <laughs> yummy. I know, I'm excited. Okay, first of all, the fries. There's like a special aioli for them. You're kidding me. These are phenomenal. Look at that. It has powdered sugar on there. You have to dip it in the jam. Oh my gosh. I'm un unwell. This is phenomenal. I'm nice and full. That Monte Cristo was so, so yummy. The other girlies are riding. There's no wait for Alice. Is it close? Let's see if Alice is closed. Sorry, I can't figure out if it... Oh, there's guest services there, so it must be closed. But they're riding Star Tours, and I can't do Star Tours. It makes me sick. So we're going to go do something fun in Fantasyland. I don't know if y'all remember from the last Disneyland vlog, but we didn't get to do all of the fun little cutie rides here. We did most of them, but we didn't get to do a storybook, and that's what I want to do. So while they do that, we're going to go do storybook. Space Mountain, y'all know the debacle last time we were here that we got in line and they ended up shutting it down so we didn't get to do it, but we're gonna do it today. And then after that, we get to go do a small world holiday, which I'm really, really excited about. They have a real life pizza planet here. Am I goofy? I didn't, I didn't know that. Hi, Illy, Illy, Illy. Look, pizza planet.
as magical as the small world holiday. That was stinking precious. I feel so in the Christmas spirit right now, like this whole day, everything at Disneyland is so incredibly magical. Like not only is the front of the park decorated, every single section of this park thus far has some touch of Disney magic. And I'm sorry I didn't show all of that part of me was just taking in everything, but oh, it's just been so good. Okay, y'all, we finally got the peppermint churro. It's from the churro cart right by the castle. Also, the pretzel was from the pretzel cart in Frontierland, but it's got peppermint, like peppermint dusting. I don't think you could even see it very well, but this is a peppermint bark dipping sauce. Unreal. What the heck is this? It's, it's really good. We're having Jolly Holiday for a cozy little dinner my absolute favorite thing in this park. It's so cold and I cannot wait to be so warmed up by this grilled cheese and tomato soup. My camera steads, I'm vlogging on my phone. The girls are riding, we were gonna ride rides, but it's down and close to 10. I don't know if that's a regular thing, but definitely check because if you're like us and we're planning to ride at the end of the night, don't do that. Um, so they're riding Smuggler's Run and I think we're gonna ride Matterhorn on our way out. I am exhausted. We've been in the park for over 12 hours. My fingers are numb because it's cold outside and I did not come prepared for the cold. And I'm wearing a little turtleneck. My legs are cold and my fingers are freezing. So I'm not sure what all else we're gonna do tonight. I'm hoping we get to ride Matterhorn, but even if we don't, it's already been such a grand and magical day and I'm so thankful for all the magic we've had. just turned 12 o'clock so Disneyland Park is officially closed. I can't believe it. We had a 14 hour day here and it was so spectacular and magical and truly wonderful and enchanting and everything in between.